many MIs and strokes occur in individuals with LDL cholesterol levels that are below recommended treatment thresholds. So high sensitivity C-reactive protein testing has been advocated to identify those patients who are low and intermediate risk and who may benefit from statin therapy. But the question of course is, when is the additional testing useful and also cost effective? Now in circulation, researchers report on the use of a decision analytic model used to follow hypothetical cohorts of individuals with normal lipid levels, but without coronary artery disease, peripheral arterial disease, or diabetes. The model compared current adult treatment panel three practice guidelines, which is a strategy of CRP screening, followed by treatment only in those with elevated CRP levels, and a strategy of treatment with statins at specified predicted risk thresholds without CRP testing. Risk-based treatment without CRP testing was the most cost-effective strategy. That conclusion assumed that statins were equally effective regardless of CRP status. However, if normal CRP levels identified a subgroup with little or no benefit from statin therapy, then CRP screening would be the optimal strategy. If harm from statin use was greater than generally recognized, then the use of current clinical guidelines would still be the optimal strategy. The researchers concluded that risk-based statin treatment without CRP testing is still more cost-effective than CRP screening, assuming that statins have good long-term safety and provide benefits among low-risk people with normal CRP. I'm Peter Block with a CardiSource Heart Minute.